ERB, what's up? Yo. What we doing, bro? Drop a like. One full profit on Instagram. We ain't playing no games. Y'all already know we here for the break. That down, 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 down. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Karl Marx. It's pretty revolutionary. I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get it. First off, off top, B sounded real spooky. I ain't going to hold you. Let's go. Mr. Motor City needs some medicine. Red, my lines are a production. Your lines are red. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me take this all in, bro. I'm not going to lie. It feel a little crazy doing ERB. It's been a minute. It's been a momento. Let's go. Mr. Motor City needs some medicine. Red, my lines are a production. Your lines are red. This okay. Need some medicine. Red. You know, Mr. Motor City. So if you don't know, I know more about Henry Ford than I do Karl Marx. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. But Henry Ford, obviously, Ford, the car. He invented it. He kind of invent. I mean, not kind of. He invented like assembly line. You know what I'm saying? Like very revolutionary person when it comes to, I mean, not just America, but worldwide. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know. Big production um, is, is the responsibility of him. I would say Karl Marx is a little bit more um, theory based, um, I guess is kind of the way I would put it. Um, epic, epic, epic monologue. Either way, let's go. Mr. Motor City needs some medicine. Red, my lines are a production. Your lines are red. This okay. is at the time pieces. Is how I got my start. Now watch me tear your ideology apart. You scream, unite the work. Ideology. That's a better. That's a better word to put on it. Okay. I. Okay. Ideology. Um. Theories. Um philosophy almost mixed in with i guess theory i like that so far a couple little bars motor city the red the bread bar okay let's go oops mr motor city needs some medicine red my lines are a production your lines are red this okay. is at the time pieces is how i got my start now watch me tear your ideology apart you scream unite the workers free the glass slaves Lose your chain, trade them in for mass graves. Wow, it's Stalin. Wow. Mm. Ah, hold on. Wait a minute. That was a bar. This is how I got my start now. Watch me tear your ideology apart. You scream, unite the workers. Free the glass slaves. Lose your chain, trade them in for mass graves. Wow, it's Stalin. Because you know, mass production, like I said, is, is, is Henry Ford's concept. Um, so he's just saying, like, look, you... you you know, your idea was to free these people and, and like slaves and and have essentially capitalism, right? But I would say Henry Ford is more on the side of consumerism. He gave workers jobs, but also gave people things that they benefited from that. Where it's like jail, like, you know, like the opposite of jail almost. Where jail, they get the work, they don't really have to compensate too much. The slavery, essentially, he's saying free to change. That ideology, I like that, I like that, I like that. Good little subtle punches, but he letting you know he there. Let's go. Uh, watch me tear your ideology apart. You okay. scream, unite the workers, free the glass slaves. Uh. Lose your chain, trade them in for mass graves. Wow, it's Stalin. Wow, appalling amounts of body pain. When a world leader like you, that's a red flag. Oh my God. Oh my, okay. So, he's saying essentially he's a part of the Soviet. Um, you know, he mentioned Stalin, the body bags, you know, stacking them up. He's just saying that you were more aligned with that than you are with modern day i guess um freedom 
Fire. I like that. Okay, let's go. When a world leader likes you, that's a red flag. I produce with my two hands. You're a destitute trade. Scheming to trade bootstrap. That's a red flag. I produce with my two hands. You're a destitute trade. Scheming to trade bootstrap. Sleep for food stamps. Any person tried to seize my private pro Woo! Nah, hold on. He said, look, I'm here. I, I put in work with my hands. I, I I taught, you know what I'm saying, how to make people make. What did I say? Consumerism, right? Um, He created a product that created a demand, that created a return, that created a essentially like its own economy Um, is the best way I guess you would put it. And he's just saying like, look, you know, I push for work. You push for for assistance let's go oops my bad my bad my bad i like this so far though he barring early first round wow appalling mounts of body bag when a world leader likes you that's a red flag i produce with my two hands you're a destitute trade scheming to trade bootstraps sleep for food stamps any person tried to seize my private property will catch a tour friends to his private pot properly who takes Ooh. advice from a okay okay just you know quick little torque wrench bar he's saying because you know he worked on the line i like that all right I might have missed the private parts, private property. There could be something in there that I missed. I'm not 100% sure, but I like that punch so far. Do his private parts properly. Who takes advice from a broke slime? It's laughable. I wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your dice crap at all. If you sing the pain. Ooh, okay. You know, tailpipe. Nice little wordplay. Advice from a broke slime. It's laughable. I wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your dice crap at all. If you sing the penny for his daughter, you named Jack. Did he call it crap? Laughable. I wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your dice crap at all. Capital. I'm assuming he's making fun of the capital. Capital. Crap. Cap. Shitty crap. Shitty capital. I think that's wordplay on that. Who takes advice from a broke fly? It's laughable. I wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your dice crap at all. If you'd save the penny for his daughter, you named Jenny. You might not have needed to bury quite so many. Who's that crowd in the galley and heavy drinking card candy? Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. Good first round. A lot of punches. I don't think a ton of filler. Um, I think he wrote pretty well. Let's go. I wouldn't wipe my tailpipe with your dice crap at all. If you'd save the penny for his daughter, you named Jenny. You might not have needed to bury quite some in. Who's that crowd in the galley and heavy drinking card candy? Huge. Voice crazy. Let's might go. not have needed to bury quite some in. Who's that crowd in the galley and heavy drinking card candy? Future thinking, legal letter, ink and proletariat. It's Karl Marx. A very right stop. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. Back codes of Zedon Co- I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Minecraft. I think so. I'm very right stop. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. Back codes of Zedon Okay, because you know Hitler, German, engineering. That's a bar. Okay, okay. He fighting back. He fighting back early too. Let's go. Thank the penny for his daughter. You named Jenny. You might not have needed to bury quite some in. Who's that crowd in the galley and heavy drinking card candy? Future thinking legal letter ink and proletariat. It's Karl Marx. A very right stone. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. Back codes of didn't cause mass grief. We did get that from books, but you didn't read shit. You self made man. Mm. Mm. Okay, he's just saying. Look, I'm not. Nice rebuttal, though. I like that. Um, he's basically saying, like, you know, my my ideologies or my theories weren't the ones that caused that. It's there's outside things, um, which I mean, I, I, I think I could agree with. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent with Karl Marx. I'm not 100 percent sure, like I said, but I don't think Karl Marx was the reason behind why there was so much mass death uh, when it comes to Europe in general um, or the world wars or anything like that. So I, I I could be wrong, but I don't know. Don't kill me. History ain't my best subject, but I'm okay at it. I'm dropping you like Hitler dropped your name in Mein Kampf. Back codes of didn't cause mass grief. We did get that from books, but you didn't read shit. Your self-made man studies dumb from a tourist. Your daddy's two hands gave you a 
That's hard, hold on. And cough. My codes didn't cause mass pain. We did get that from books, but you didn't read shit. Your self made man stories dumb from a tourist. Your daddy's to ants gave you a free fun. You were the first of. Okay, he's just saying, like, you know, you're not really self made. And then he also saying the Taurus is like another punch at Ford. Um, but he's just saying, like, you weren't self made. You were given things. Um, which, I mean, nigga was like the late 1800s, bruh. So, like, what did he get, like, uh, uh, 12 cents or something? But, yeah, I get what he's saying. I've made mad stories dumb from a tourist. Your daddy's to ants gave you a free fun. You were the first of six kids till the seventh killed your mother. Maybe that's why you spied on your workers like Big Brother. Your model, T, total Stories dumb from a tourist. Your daddy's to ants gave you a free fun. You were the first of six kids till the seventh killed your mother. Maybe that's why you spied on your workers like Big Brother. Your model, T, total lack of style is killing me. Okay, um, I didn't know that, so his last brother killed his mother, that's crazy, um, that was a heavy punchline. Your daddy's to ants gave you a free fun, of course, you were the first of six kids till the seventh killed your mother, maybe that's why you spied on your workers like Big Brother, your mother. Big Brother had cameras on the workers, I don't know his situation with spying on his workers, but... Okay. Oh, team, total lack of style is killing me. They can take shit from you according to ability. Okay, Model T was the first, um... I think Model T was actually the first modern-day car. I'm not sure. But if not, it was definitely, like, the first, like, Ford model, you know? Um, but, yeah, just poking fun at that. I like that. All right. Model T, total lack of style is killing me. You just saying it didn't have no style, dog. It was trash. Okay, basic. They can take shit from you according to ability. Do what your first car can and back up. Fitting me like your city in Brazil. Nuts! Woo. Don't step that close without some beer jam poos. Okay, good. I'm not gonna lie. I might edge that round to Karl Marx. Um, I think he had less material, but he had heavier haymakers. Definitely was, I mean, unless I missed them from he Henry Ford, which I'm sure I did, but those haymakers hit a little bit better from Karl Marx to me. I know a lot of y'all be arguing and all this, that, and the third, but this is my first time hearing. So I'm not going to catch every bar. I'm not going to catch everything. Most of y'all probably watched this 10, 20 times already, so you think you know everything and blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck about none of that. We talking about what's in front of us. I think first round went to Karl Marx. Let's go. Fitting me like your city in Brazil. Nuts! Woo. Don't step that close without some beer jam poo, son. You lived in Cologne. Look like you could have used some. I drip. That's hard, you know what I'm saying? You lived in Cologne. Looks like you could have used some just stinky bars. Let's go. Step that close without some beer jam poo, son. You lived in Cologne. Look like you could have used some. I drip with style like a dipstick drips on. You look as sick as your chronic dick boy. I'm okay. never using abuse on a utopia. Okay, just good little son of you bars. That's what I'm saying. His punches are good. Um, I just don't know if they're hitting as hard, if that makes sense. You lived in Cologne. Look like you could have used her. Definitely jokey joke. I like that. I drip a style like a dipstick drips on. You look as sick as your chronic dick boy. I'm That's crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. Nasty work. That's producing abuse on a utopian hobo. I'm throwing you for loops like the F of my logo. I gave man work. You brought... I like that. Throwing you for loops like an F in my logo. Okay, he 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 getting wordplay. Let's go. Utopian hobo. I'm throwing you for loops like the F in my logo. I gave man work. You brought nothing but harm. Take your boots while pig shit back to animal farm. Yes. Your factory conditions were bleak. Crap. Good second round. Couple rebuttals. Um, beatable though. Beatable. Beatable. Let's go. The machine cranking up for some. Why pig shit back to animal farm? Your factory conditions were bleak. Crap the machine. Cranking out for severed fingers a week. You controlled what employees could think, drink, and eat. And when they marched for better wages, shut them dead in the street. In truth, what you produced for alienated. Ooh, wait a minute. A little dark history. Hold on. Drink and eat. And when they marched for better wages, shut them dead in the street. In truth, what you produced for alienated working men who would clock into Detroit and lose themselves like m &M. And now your brain lays state It's exactly a great sight. You were worse than Michigan than Flint's water. Uh, you grab the I'm gonna tell you right now, Karl Marx won. Um, Karl Marx is just a little bit more precise with his punches. Uh, he's trying to get him out of there. I'm not saying Henry Ford is a fire. Henry Ford has good bars, bro, but Karl Marx is letting things like 
he he uppercutting like Mike Tyson. He wow, you know what I'm saying? All day right now. Let's go. It's exactly a great sight. You were worse than Michigan than Fritz Walter Bikes. Uh, you grabbed the bottom press and only me impressed. You're not hot, Carl. That's just shit on your chest. But remain to state less, you got an awful lot to say. I pay you five dollars a day to go away. Hey, buddy angles bank rolls with the textile bill. I guess the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills. You're a hypocrite. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Let me not speak too soon. Wow. Okay. Carl, that's your shit on your chest. Barbara. Now your great legs stay. It's exactly. I don't know. I might take that back. Think three can eat. And when they march for the wages, shut them dead in the street. In truth, the two produce for alienated working men who would clock into Detroit and lose themselves like m and And now your great legs stay. It's exactly a great sight. You were worse than Michigan than Flint's water pipe. Uh, you grabbed the bottom. Great Lakes, Water Pipes, Flint, Michigan. Good little bar. Good bar. Let's go. Impression, don't leave me impressed. You're not hot, Carl. That's just shit on your chest. But remain to state less. You got an awful lot to say. I pay you five dollars a day to go away. Hey, buddy angles bank rolls you with the textile bill. I guess the capitalists are cool when they're paying your bills. You're a hypocrite. Nick with his love with substance issues. Step off your soapbox. Take the soap with you. Look, dummy, shedding money is the communist vision. Says, step off your soapbox and take the step, take the soap with you, you dirty. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Step off your soapbox, take the soap with you. Look, dummy, shedding money is the communist vision. Engels Bank was the crank that got the revolution spinning. We gave everything to see the common people and fans. I'm so down with the cause, I even pawned my own ass. You grew so out of touch, you sabotaged your only kid. It's a stomach cancer, showed more love than you did. So congrats, your legacy is an ashes. Remembered as the fascist sympathizing cause of climate change, your car crashes. From your newspaper to your dozy factory, cross the board. Frankly, Hank, it's clear as which side you are on. This battle's been applauded like that hemorrhage in your head. I'll leave a floor that's expected. Found on road dead. Oh, wow. Because they call Ford's found on road dead, F O R D, fire. I still think Karl Marx. Drop a like, one for profit. Who won? Karl Marx, in my opinion. We outside, baby. Drop a like. Hold on. Is there any more? Hey. 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 Let's go. Drop a like. We outside. Grr, bow.